Okay, great. Benny says that we all struggle with having good health. In my speech, or in my, well, not my speech, but in Benny's speech, <laughs> I'm going to talk about mental health, and Benny's going to back me up on it. That's right. But Benny's going to share some tips on how to have good health and peace of mind as we age. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, right. Benny. Thank you. Okay. Well, as Kevin said, let's warm up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Peace of mind uh, is essential uh, as we age because we lose muscle mass and bone density uh, degenerate as well as our metabolism slows down year after year. According to research, physically inactive people lose muscle mass 3 to 5 percent after the age of 30. Even if you are active, you still lose some muscle mass, and even after the age, by the time you turn 35, the bone density gradually decrease. Being 54 years old and having great health, not looking and not feeling and being able to get up and off the floor like I do without any complications. Let me give you a little bit of my background um, and where I started from and where I'm at, how I get to work, where I'm at today. I grew up in Houston, Texas, down south, eating a lot of fried foods, <laughs> fried chicken, uh, fried pork chops, beef tripe, which is the cow stomach, which is my favorite. Uh, no one else in my family uh, liked beef tripe, uh, beef tripe other, than, other than me. I had two other brothers and sisters. And my mother would only cook it for me, fried bologna, you name it. But back in the day, 1970, 1980, we was outside running around just because, you know, uh, it, it was fun to us. And, you know, I ate fried foods until I was 27 years old. I was United States Navy. I was married, you know, had a, uh, a baby in 1989. And one day my neighbor asked me to drive to the gym with him that at the athletic club was uh, offering $10 down, $20 a month. So um, I went with him, I joined the gym, I started studying about how to work out uh, with weights and how many calories we need in order to burn fat along with cardio. Um, I read about it not knowing that training with weights was only part of it. And there, and, and there was more, there was, there was eating, eating five to six small meals a day uh, consisted of protein, carbs, and fats. And none of these foods were fried. They were all baked and grilled. <laughs> now, this was going to be a hard problem for me. <laughs> fried foods? I can't eat my fried foods. And I thought to myself, how long am I going to be able to handle this without fried foods compared to weight? I grew up eating three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and all of it was fried. But when I started studying and reading about, you know, nutrition and knowing that, you know, being consistent at it, that it would become a habit, which is, you know, how I got to where I'm at today. And what I've learned that uh, eating five, six small meals a day, it helps you to sustain Muscle mass and the bone density does not degenerate as fast. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I started studying again about, you know, uh, um, eating good, eating good, healthy foods. And what causes us to have uh, bad health and lose muscle mass and bone density degenerate is low iron, usually with tiredness, bad diet, not, enough, not eating enough protein, carbohydrates, fats throughout the day. Uh, deficiency of vitamins A, C, E, D, and other vitamins, as well as uh, minerals, which is needed to keep our muscle mass and bone density strong, um, as well as lack of resistant exercise, weight bearing, 
resistance bands, and other types of exercises. But when you have good health, you have peace of mind, and these are the things you look, you look forward to. Uh, you have better energy. You look and feel younger. Your skin looks, looks better. You get sick less, which means less visits to the doctor. You're not living on medication. Um, uh, your bones and joints are stronger. You don't have all the aches and pains generate, generate through your body as you age. Uh, you, you maintain a low body fat percentage, low cholesterol, low blood pressure. Uh, you stress less, you sleep better. And as I mentioned, um, you look and feel younger. How many of us want to look and feel younger? Raise your hand. Okay. It will require sacrifice. The mythology toward having good health and peace of mind is four simple principles. One, it's a lifestyle change. You don't have to jump in there and try to get it all at once. It's gradually take on this change and continue to be consistent at it. Uh, commitment. Make sure you stay committed to that new change. Don't give up too quick, too soon, because nothing happens overnight. Uh, discipline. Once you become disciplined and you see the results from the lifestyle change and commitment, you want to keep going. And the hardest one for all of us is consistency. Okay, Consistency three to four times a week, 30 to 45 minutes. And once you uh, master the lifestyle change, the commitment, the discipline, and you get the consistency down, this is what it takes to have uh, health and peace of mind. So thank you. Thank you.